Hi, I'm Mark from eReplacementParts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild the regulator on your air compressor. The regulator is the part of your air compressor that controls the amount of pressure that leaves the tank. The regulator can be adjusted up and down depending on the amount of pressure needed for the tool you're using. Over time, the components inside of the regulator will wear out will need to be replaced. Many manufacturers offer a regulator rebuild kit. Today I'm working on a Porter Cable air compressor, and this same rebuild kit will work on Porter Cable as well as the other companies that fall under the Black & Decker name, such as Black & Decker, DeWalt, and Porter Cable. On my Porter Cable compressor, the regulator is built into a manifold, so I'll begin by removing that manifold from the compressor frame. With the manifold removed from the compressor frame, now I can begin disassembling the regulator. I'll start on the front side of the regulator and remove the regulator knob. Now I flip the regulator around to get access to this plug on the back. I'll remove that next. I want to be careful here because there is a spring behind the plug. It is under tension. With the regulator disassembled, now we can begin rebuilding. My rebuild kit came with an instruction sheet. There's a diagram that shows the order of the parts. This will be very helpful as we begin to rebuild. I'll start with the pieces that came out of the back of the regulator. We'll replace all of these pieces, so we'll start with that. This is the back cap of the regulator. The first thing I need to do is install a new O-ring on it. Next, according to the instructions in the rebuild kit, I need to install a little bit of lubrication, this lube came with the kit, on some of these O-rings. So just a little lube and I'll spread that around. With the O-rings lubricated, now I just place the spring on the cap and the piston on the spring. And that assembly is ready to go. Now we can turn our attention to the knob side of the regulator. On this assembly, I need to replace this disc. To do that, I'll pull the knob away from the body. And then push the post through the body and the disc will pop out the other side. The instructions state that we should put a little more lubrication on this O-ring. And now I can assemble the disc back into the body. And replace the knob. Now I can install our new parts back into the regulator body. I'll begin with the cap, spring, and piston assembly. Next I'll reinstall the knob assembly. But before I do, there's an O-ring at the base that needs to be replaced. I'll pull that out with a screwdriver and install the new O-ring. And now I can thread the knob into position. And last, I'll reinstall the manifold assembly back into the compressor frame. Thank you. 
And that's how easily you can rebuild the regulator on your air compressor. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.